Bonjour collectors. So today we have a, a French car day. It's a Citroen Zara. The Citroen Zara is just a small economy car put out by Citroen and uh, sold between 1997 and 2006. And it had a bunch of small inline four cylinder engines between 1.4 liters and 2.0 liters, two liters, and making between 74 to like a little over 100 horsepower. So not speedy cars at all. So the WRC World Rally Championships generally takes regular economy vehicles and then lets people modify them and race them out. So what we're looking at here is the 2003 version that uh, raced in Monte Carlo by Colin McRae. By the way, I just want to mention, these crystal boxes by uh, CMs are not very good. Uh, turns out that, you know, this base, it very often actually wants to get jammed up in there. So I had to use like my dental pick to pry it out of this case. And, and this one's obviously cracked. It's a used model I got off eBay. Okay. So a little bit else I learned about this uh, car. This is a turbocharged two liter in this, this particular vehicle. Probably making around 300 horsepower. That's the limit set by the uh, FIA for WRC. And uh, as basic and boring as the regular street car looks, and it probably is, this car is actually quite successful in racing. It, um, there's a driver, Sebastian Loeb, He's won nine world championship titles, driving championships, and the first three of his titles were in one of these cars. And then this car itself uh, won the WRC Manufacturer's Championship titles in, in 2003, 2004, and 2005. So pretty, pretty successful vehicle. Out of 58 races, this car won 32. So that's a pretty good track record. Now, unfortunately for Colin McRae, he came in seventh place in the in the drivers' championship championship back in 2003. So it's too bad. Okay, well let's look at the casting here. It's a CM, so we're gonna. I'm quite familiar with how they operate. And the first major issue I have is the roll cage. It's really thick tubing, and then it's it's really low because the greenhouse plastic is sitting above it. So I don't know. I guess it's the best they could do maybe I've seen better roll cages by other brands they have thinner tubes and they try to push them up against the roof as much as possible but these CMs generally weren't that expensive this might have been seven or eight dollars when it was uh, first retailed unfortunately the brand is out of business okay uh, CMs very often has kind of lame wheels these are okay they're kind of midway The you know the spokes are thin there's air passing between them so that's pretty good there's no brakes, but again, this is a pretty cheap model, at least uh, for the time. Okay, so the pla base is all plastic, and they take no credit for, you know, what the car is or who made it or anything. This is a blank. These are really nice tires, though. Pretty cool treads. They look like they could be rally tires, so I like it. All right. I've got some silver paint on this exhaust tip, but it's just blanked off. Okay. So looking at the graphics here. Uh, yeah, they look like they're tampo prints. They're not decals, so that's nice. They're not going to flake off or anything like that. You got these blobby mirrors, and uh, that's red. It's not silver. Am I right? Let me look at it differently. Yeah. So that's just red. It's kind of weird that they want to paint all of it black, but, well, whatever. Okay, so tail lights here are pretty good. You know, thick plastic, not paint, so that's nice. All this badging looks pretty nice. All right, Citron, total sponsorship, Zara, the Citron logo. We got our license plate. I'm sure that's accurate to the real car. It is on other CMs models. Okay, with this side, any issues? No, I don't see any problems, so that's pretty good. Hmm, is there paint rash developing? These red cars tend to get paint rash. I don't know. Let's go to the front. You gotta hold this carefully, those antennae. Okay. So the front, we got some texture here in the grills, and then the, it's printed on as well, so that's pretty good. All right, and then we got the inserts there, a little printing there, and then wrapping up the top, we got some hood vents, but there's no paint. Would have been nice to have some black in there. Okay, but there is some molded uh, bumps here for these uh, hood pins, or hood latches. Indication of the... Uh, Electrical cutoff switch under there, probably. Wiper blades are three-dimensional. They're molded into the uh, plastic here, but they're really thin. 
uh, really really thin and they're painted black so that's really good those are some nice windshield wiper blades <laughs> it's kind of weird that uh, i envy windshield wiper blades but they do belong in real cars so we're talking about scale models right i think this is like a camera so there's a bump there for that and then i think this is just an air intake for the uh the drivers because they're wearing helmets and stuff it must get hot in there stock uh air conditioning might not be helpful maybe they rip out the air conditioning for weight i'm not sure okay and then we got this uh rear wing here and uh doesn't seem too too thick it's okay i've seen a lot thicker wings out there it is yeah it's all right i guess all right back here it's got the rally monte carlo and then number 17 the antennae are okay they're not the very first CMs, which have super thick, comical antennae. These are pretty thin. Uh, I guess we'll try to bend those in more vertical later on. But, uh, all right. So, in general, you know, the paint's okay. Yeah, uh, maybe it's not. Look at that. That's got to be paint rash, right? It's, it's starting. But I think this model's pretty old as well in its defense. It's probably at least 10 years old. I don't know, if anyone knows when this particular model came out, please uh, leave a comment. Okay, well anyways, uh, I knew nothing of uh, the Zara. You know, I, I've never lived in a country where these things are sold at dealerships, so it's interesting. And if you look up images of the stock car, it's a pretty ugly, plain looking vehicle. I'm not even really sure this is a cool looking car, but it, it does have racing credentials. You know, it did win a bunch of WRC titles, so... I gotta respect it for that case. So let's put it up on uh, the spinning machine here. And actually, before I do that, let me just hold it up here to the car. Photo here. And if you want, you can just pause it or something, or let me get even closer. So it's pretty good representation of the vehicle, I think. The only thing that would have been nice maybe is like the wheels. You can see how they're concave here and it got the lug nuts and stuff but here on the cms it's just flat and in like two two dots i don't know if this is a different set of wheels and it had a center cap covering all the lug nuts but that wouldn't make sense for racing because you don't want to be taking off a center cap because it wastes time during a pit change right you want to have the fastest access to removing a wheel possible so these can't be accurate it would make no sense for a citron to run wheels like that so that's that's the major gripe besides the fact that it's got this goofy roll cage but it's still probably the best uh 164 scale uh citron rally car that I, i'm aware of if anyone knows of a better one please let me know but i don't think like Inno or tarmac works has uh tackled this particular vehicle so for now it's gonna have to do all right so i don't have many citrons but uh, back uh, on February 16th, 2021, I did do a review of this, the BX4. It's a pretty ugly car. But um, I like this model because of its uh, extra work going on. In particular, the headlights on the front as it spins around. There's so, look at all the plastic inserts here. You have, you have the headlights themselves, but you have six auxiliary lights. So there's literally eight pieces of plastic going on in the front of this. You know, that's that's great. I mean, you just don't get that from most other brands. Most other brands are just going to paint their lights on and be called a day. But this is, that's just cool. I like it. So, even though it's an ugly rally car, I like it just because of its uh, model technical features, I guess you could call it. Okay, guys. Well, if you're a rally fan, this one was, this one was for you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next round.